Hi friends and welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Micah Vidal and I'm a musical theater writer, music producer, playwright, multi-hyphenate artist, you know, something else terribly snobbish, but hi and welcome to another home studio vlog. This will be for the month of August. I'm recording this intro on October 2nd. So the weather is dreary, it is cold. This is my very first real fall in the East Coast. At this point in California, we, we still have in sun. You know what I'm saying? So it's definitely a big change, but I finally had a chance to catch up with this and kind of go into the schedule that I was talking about in my previous video or my previous vlog, where we're going to be going into like this sort of bi-weekly vlog schedule. So yeah, I'm trying not to be so hard on myself. It's been a long process of settling into a non-routine and accepting that as this next couple of months is going to be a very temporary kind of situation and so kind of having to learn to live with the changes and embracing those and accepting them has been difficult and I mean you'll see it in the vlog but I think it also makes you reconnect with things that inspire the work that are working on and things like that however just because I've paused videos doesn't mean that I'm not being more open about the process. I'm just doing it in a bit of a different way that feels much more accessible to me at the moment. And that is writing. I've been writing a lot, especially over on my Patreon. So if you support me for a dollar a month, you get early access to the videos and of course access to all my Twitch streams, which I'm streaming again whenever I can. But more importantly, you get these weekly blog posts where I talk more in depth about things that are going on in my life, more process style things. Once we hit 25 patrons, I will be showing the inside of my scripts. And recently I also did a reading of my original show which will be a patreon exclusive if you want to actually watch my work done by real actors it's a draft so obviously i'm not going to make it readily available to everyone but if you're interested in watching that it's a dollar a month so support your girl over on patreon and with that let's jump into the video with the caveat that you will be seeing me at the end of it <laughs> she's so pretty I can't tell if it's gonna be lady. She's definitely a lady Lapras, isn't she? This is Sarah's office that I'm currently stealing in. David is the one holding the camera. Say hi, David. Hi, David. <laughs> You'll be seeing a lot of him. Not from behind the camera. <laughs> okay, we flipped it over. And I've never actually opened a computer of this size. From, uh, oh, she's so pretty. She's so blue. Setting up who shall be known as Lady Lapras. This is Imiko, one of my adorable little niece. That's Jack, who's jealous of anything. But you're actually not allowed in here per your mom's instructions, because you shed too much. You're allowed in here because you barely shed. Be thankful. And then Ryu. Ryu. Where's my big boy? And that's Ryu. My other nephew. Well, yes, well, this is my nephew. Magical boy. He's eight. This is Jack. That's my son. He's two. And Emiko is six. Hi, baby girl. giving New York like uh, just corporate slicker in the best way. So I just cut my hair. It's very dramatic. I know. <laughs> I also thinned it out. Every time I go to the hairdresser, this has literally been like the third time ever in my life. Everyone tells me I have pretty hair, which is my favorite thing about going. City slicker market is back. And now I can finally do these cute little clip haircuts that I've been dreaming of doing. New era. My skin needs to get better, but new era. Found this little book 
It's called I Never Wanted Fame. It's Machel, translated by Robert Bly. My favorite poem, one of them anyway, is included in the song Cantares by Joe Manuel Serrat, which is a Spanish album that I grew up with a lot. Joe Manuel Serrat, the poet, the composer. Nunca perseguí la gloria ni dejar en la memoria de los hombres mi canción. I've never heard it in English before. I'm this is the first time I've ever seen the translation. I have never wanted fame or wanted to leave my poems behind in the memory of men. I love the subtle world, delicate, almost without weight, like soap bubbles. I enjoy seeing them take the color of sunlight and scarlet, float in the blue sky, and suddenly quiver and break. While I love this translation, because it's exactly correct, it does not rhyme. Machado rhymes in his cantares. Machado has been my favorite poet since I was a kid. And for Nathan's musical project that we're all doing together, recording an album and stuff like that, I get to write about the poet. As a Chilean, I admire, revere, want to become a poet. Is it dumb to cry at the Syracuse library? It is currently 11.35 a.m. on. God, it's the 20th already. And I'm gonna go see a new musical with my friend Paloma and my husband Max. And I'm very excited. So I'm gonna be watching American Prophet at the Arena Theater in DC. Look how cool Frederick Douglass looks. So here's a bit of the background. It's book by Charles Randolph Wright and Marcus Humann, music and lyrics by Marcus Humann, and it's directed by Charles Randolph Wright with choreography by Lorna Ventura, music direction, orchestrations, and additional arrangements by Joseph Yobert. It's gonna be at the Krieger Theater, and it's gonna run about two hours and 15 minutes with a 15 minute intermission between act one and act two. Here is the little synopsis of the show. From the actual website. The groundbreaking musical powered by Frederick Douglass's own speeches and writings, coupled with soaring new melodies and an original script from Grammy Award-winning songwriter Marcus Humann and Randolph Wright, Douglass rises as a fierce abolitionist and distinguished orator. Filled with an electrifying new score, the world premiere celebrates the revolutionary legacy of one of history's first freedom fighters whose fire is needed now more than Ever. I think the coolest part about living close to DC is that there are a lot of shows that haven't made it to the Great White Way and so you get to see them before they potentially make that transition. I think it's also really cool that they're using Frederick Douglass's own words because, you know, I've been exploring the concept of working with texts in the public domain and I think there is a lot of power to bringing words that might have been you know, lost to time in a way to this. I mean, Frederick Douglass is a great abolitionist and he's essentially the dude that convinced Abraham Lincoln to, you know, sign the Emancipation Proclamation. He did so much in his life. And I have no thoughts. I, I don't know who Marcus Humann is. I feel like that name is kind of bouncing in my head, but I have no idea. Overall, just super excited to see a new piece of theater. We're gonna be catching the matinee at 2 p.m. today, and we're about an hour away. Also, yeah, my hair is still super fluffy. school so he already bounced out through his he school. better not have yeah he, he wanted me to let you know goodbye and i'll call you on the road because it's already getting late why are you serious bye <laughs> where's your father jack where's your father hi 
is currently 1 18 p.m the meeting for back at home is in 12 minutes i just wrote something based on the Marcello book and this is the poem that they put like the checkout slip in and it's mi corazón se ha dormido or has my heart gone to sleep has my heart gone to sleep Beehives in my dreams, have you stopped working? Is the water wheel of thought dry, its buckets empty, spinning and filled with shadow? No, my heart is not asleep, it is awake, awake, not asleep or dreaming. It looks with open bright eyes at far signals and listens on the shores of great silence. For any songwriting technique where you're writing in Spanish, you actually need to base yourself off the Spanish lyric. So I actually wrote the melody to this. And then when I translate it, all I have to do is find a way to fit the translation into the melody I've already written. While all poetry is beautiful, it's not all song. And this song is definitely one that needs a bit more focusing. I love the idea of this poet character that I'm writing, getting the moment to sing about longing and love. So it's definitely gonna be a mixture of poems together. And I love the idea that I'm already kind of building the musical structure and then I can input other poems as I see fit, which is really cool. But also I did write this in like 45 minutes and I'm pretty proud of it. I think this is the first time I've ever actually written a song in Spanish, even though it's like the music that I listen to the most. So there is something very pretty and wholesome about that. Shout out to Machado and Juan Manuel Serrato. I'm gonna sit you down here and then I'll record. It's our new clip though. Está despierto, está despierto, está despierto, ni sueña, ni mira, ni sueña, ni mira, ni sueña, ni mira, ni sueña, ni mira, no duerme, ni sueña, ni duerme, ni sueña, ni duerme, ni sueña, ni duerme. ojos, señas lejanas y escucha orillas del gran silencio. Actually, that's wrong. You guys ready to come inside? All right. Jack, inside. Come on, inside. Come on, quickly, it's hot. Well, outside. Good boy. Come on. Inside. Mi corazón se ha dormido. Se ha dormido. Right. So I have returned and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the 27th of August, which was the last clip I inserted. That was the day that I ended up working on the Fi Fine, funnily enough, collaboration. So I figured I would actually talk a bit about this project, which I've been mentioning throughout that entire month and I'm still actively working on, which is Back at Home. It's a collaborative musical that I'm writing with like a bunch of different composers. It isn't quite public knowledge yet, hence why, first of all, I'm able to talk about it now in October instead of back in August, and I've just been hinting at it. And we're slowly kind of developing the book and writing solos and connective tissue songs, which is really, really exciting. I ended up leaning into the whole Machado process. This back at home project has sparked my own desire. And after also seeing American Prophet, like all these things that happened this month really inspired me to want to explore Machado's words, but unlike American Prophet, instead of it being the life of the real poet of Antonio Machado, how he grew up, died, the whole thing with his siblings, the whole Spanish war, I'm not really interested in that in terms of a show, but I love the idea of exploring the archetypes in his work, poet, the demon, the brother, the lover, all these things that he talks about in the work and bringing those characters to life and trying to weave a story around them. I really think that this project, at least taking it out of the collaborative project and transitioning it into kind of my own thing, will definitely be more along the lines of a song cycle 
and to me a song cycle the difference between that and a musical is truly about one is structure and one is vibes one doesn't really require a plot <laughs> and that's the song cycle and i think that's sort of what i'm trying to do with the machado piece but i haven't quite titled it yet i have an idea for it but currently the title of that project is the untitled machello song cycle but yeah it's really really exciting as of now i have four projects i'm working on cafe con leche which is all i've worked on last year and has been on the back burner since bmi then star signs which i'm currently actively working on alongside back at home and then the machado project which hasn't even been you know like put into a pot yet it's more of like a recipe building thing right now if, if we are continuing with the whole cooking metaphor and so i wanted to close off this vlog with a bit of kind of like hindsight because it's october now august seems like a lifetime ago if i'm being honest i'm definitely starting to get acclimated and in a way starting to develop and create new ideas that i never really thought i was going to work on like if you asked me six months ago if this was something that i saw in my future kind of this whole new project and the tackling of it the writing of it the inspiration of it i would have been like uh yeah i just got rejected from bmi so i feel nothing <laughs> which is crazy because i went to bmi in april and it is now october 2nd so it's like six months have now passed from that event which is crazy and it's also crazy that like i'm recording this so far in the future from when the video you are seeing anyway i'm just rambling <laughs> but with that i'm excited to finally share this with you and i will see you in two weeks with a new video and i think this one is going to be i'm pretty sure my september 2022's home studio vlog and then after that if everything goes according to plan because there's some things that i'm working on that i haven't been able to talk about <coughs> unwound the musical that we'll be getting videos as those become public and those talks become available for you to see and watch so there's just a lot of stuff going on and it feels weird because usually in these vlogs i try to be as transparent as i can about the process on the same side i can't be transparent when i'm working on somebody else's work all i can talk about is ultimately my work and how i'm putting that together you know i said i was gonna stop rambling but then i didn't stop and so with that i'll see you next time with a new video <laughs> goodbye goodbye